Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to study about Java. First we will see about a basic intro of Java and let's get comfortable with Java. So in this snippet we will study about or what we will learn about is basic concept of Java. Then we will know about introduction to classes and objects and important concept. After this we will study an important question why Java is loved by the people. We will cover these three topics in this video. Starting like first, what is Java? So, when someone asks you dear friends like what is Java, then you can say these three or four lines. First, you can say Java is an object oriented programming language. And here in object oriented programming language, when someone asks you, hey, tell me what is object oriented programming language? Then we can say it consists of object and classes and further more things that I will let you know in the upcoming videos. But as of now, we can say Java is an object oriented programming language consisting of object and classes. But there is more to it that we will see in the upcoming videos. After that, you can say write once, run anywhere. Okay, so this write once, run anywhere concept comes from the Java independence why Java is a platform independent language. So here, Java is a platform independent language. You can say, for example, if I have written my Hello World first basic program on my operating system of Windows 10, and if I give it to my friend who is using Macintosh operating system, then how this Java program will work, we will see in the next video. But as of now, we can say this is, a, this is an important speciality of Java that Java program can run write once, run anywhere and it is platform independent language. Why it is platform independent language? We will see the core concepts in the upcoming video. After that, you can say that Java is a fast, secure and reliable programming language. These are the basic features of Java and when someone asks you what is Java, you can quote them these four points and that will be more than sufficient for you as a beginner. After this, we will see what is class and object? Okay, for class and objects, let's move on to this whiteboard and I will explain this here pretty easily and very easily. Like instance, let's say that this is my cat. Okay, so let's believe that this is a cat and here this is an animal. Okay, so we know that cat inherits or takes the properties or its resemblance from the animal class. Okay, so this is an object. Let's say class animal is a class and this is an object. And animal has two categories or two behavior and state we can say like animal have we know animals have different colors and let's say animal make different sounds. Okay, different sounds. So we can say that this sound is the behavior and here color is the state, okay? And here we have an object name as class. Class takes the properties, here object is a cat and class animal gives its property to the cat, okay? So now cat will modify and will add some, you can say you can add some values to them like the color, we can say that the cat is of black color. So, we added something to the color. We gave some state to the color. After that, the sound cat make its meow. Okay. So, the behavior of the cat is it's make the sound meow. So, this is a basic example of an object and a class. We can make many other animals from this class animal. You can have another object. You can say a dog. This could be another object. Okay, and here the dog, we can say that a dog is of brown color. Okay, and here after dog being of brown color, the dog barks. The sound made by the dog is bark. Okay, you can say it's bark. After this, you can see here from one class, we made two objects. Okay, one class, we made two objects. Here, we can do many more things, but we will learn those many more things in the upcoming video. But you can see that here... The class is basic blueprint and after from this blueprint, 
we can make our own objects and we give the values to the objects okay to the class methods and these states we are giving these values to them okay and we can make and add many more animals to the class or we can make many more animals or to the objects and add to the class taking the values from the class so now let's come to our theoretical ppt and see what i have written objects have states and behavior like for the states i for the instance i told you in the cat the cat was the object that was having the color black or any other color and the behavior was it produces a sound meow and here in the class i told you that the class we were making of animal and in that animal i said that the animals will have color and they will produce some sound what type of the sound and what is the color that the object can define to it okay so we can see the definition now the class can be defined as a template blueprint that describes the behavior or state of the object that it supports okay so this was the class animal and then we had an object class ob object cat type okay this was a very basic example in the upcoming videos i will be telling you many more examples and in the upcoming videos we will have many more practical implementation of object and classes so please stay tuned to the upcoming videos next is the most favorite question asked by the people that why java is loved by the people so we can give only two points as of now that development is much faster easier and fluent whereas it is a platform independent language and how platform independent language we will study in the upcoming videos but as of now we can say it is a platform independent that is why it is loved by the people and development is much faster because the java java developers are much more comfortable and they find that the applications developed are faster easier and fluent so that's it for the day we will see you in the next videos thank you